So a couple of weeks ago during the holiday haze, you may have missed a story reported by Inman. The Association of Independent Mortgage Experts, known as AIM, a trade group representing mortgage brokers, is set on doubling their political action fund or PAC investment of 2022. OpenSecrets.org reports that AIM spent $80,000 in 2021. Then, in the first nine months of 2022, they spent $170,000 lobbying to DC decision makers. For a little perspective, the real estate industry as a whole spent just shy of $97 million in the same time frame. To include NAMPAC's budget, the lobbying arm for AIM's rival, the National Association of Mortgage Brokers, who spent $17,500 from January of 2021 through November of 2022, according to the FEC, the Federal Election Commission. Now, AIM boasts more than 65,000 members, and since July, it's raised more than 300 $150,000 from executives at lenders including United Wholesale Mortgage or UWM, hey there Matt Ishba, which surpassed Rocket Mortgage and Dan Gilbert this year as one of the nation's largest providers of home loans. Now AIM and UWM did claim a significant victory through their PAC in 2022 with a rule change allowing mortgage brokers in Florida access to state-run down payment assistance program Florida Hometown Heroes Housing Program which provides up to $25,000 in down payment assistance to the usual suspects, like police, fire, teachers, and healthcare workers. Foreshadowing their plans for 2023, quote, for too long, independent mortgage brokers have been unable to offer consumers state-funded down payment assistance programs. That was Ames President Brendan McKay, owner of McKay Mortgage. Continuing, previously, home buyers leveraging hometown heroes could not also take advantage of the savings that mortgage brokers are able to offer. AIM is excited that this is no longer the case. They said, we look forward to working with other states to make the same adjustment. To bolster its lobbying efforts, AIM hired for Forbes Tate Partners, the 11th biggest lobbying firm in DC, with 18.5 million in receipts in the first nine months of 2022, according to records compiled by Open Secrets. Now, the report outlined top issues on deck for AIM in 2023, including convincing more states to provide real estate tax exemptions for disabled veterans, reducing fees by Fannie and Freddie on loans originated by brokers, and streamlining the appraisal and home buying process for VA home loans. So what are your thoughts? Is this going to be a net positive for the industry? We'd love to hear your thoughts. And as always, we're here to help.